Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Mark Wickersham and I want to share a story with you because I find that accounting professionals struggle sometimes with this, this whole concept of value pricing uh, and how they can how they can value price and how that differs from fixed pricing or hourly rates. So I thought I'd share a story and this is based on I recently broke my arm a few months back and I've got some movement back now, it's getting better, uh, but uh, four months ago I was in a sling in terrible pain. I decided a little while ago, just a few weeks ago, to uh, hire a sports physiotherapist. Up until then I'd be using the, the, the physio through the NHS, the hospital. I decided it was time to up the game and really start to get progress fast. So I was given a recommendation to a physiotherapist. Uh, his name happened to be Mark as well, so easy for me to remember. So I went to visit Mark based on the recommendation and he'd booked in an hour session with me. We started the session. At no point had he told me what his price was. Now I happened to have an idea because the person who referred me gave me an idea of the price and, and it was to me it was, wasn't much at all. But he didn't have the conversation. So I sat down on his chair and I noticed in front of me, taped to the wall, was his price list. Let me show you what it looked like. This is a, a photo of it. Uh, this, is, this was the first time that I, as a, as a patient, saw the price. And as you can see, it was £30 a session, a session's an hour, £30 an hour. And I looked at that and thought, this is absolutely crazy. I, I also noticed, and you might not be able to see it, but at the bottom was a date. The date was five and a half years earlier. So first interesting thing is this particular sports therapist has not changed his hourly rate for five and a half years, which is crazy. Now, as a customer, that's the first time I saw price because he didn't have a price, there was no price discussion. So when I saw that, the treatment had started, I was sat on the treatment table, I could have had one of two different thoughts. Number one, I might have thought, Flipping out, that's expensive. I'm going to have a bit of a fee dispute with him at the end of this because he never told me up front. Had I known it was that price, I probably wouldn't have gone ahead. So I could have had a fee dispute. Or I could, as is the case, have sat there and thought, he's a professional. He's supposed to be very good. He actually does uh, physio for some of the local sport, uh, professional for sports teams, football teams. That's quite low. I would have paid more. And I would have paid more. So either way, he's going to lose out. Either the customer's a bit disgruntled or they would have paid more. So that's, uh, that was five and a half years old. The problem is, and, and this is the mistake that a lot of accounting professionals make, particularly bookkeepers when it comes to hourly rates and stuff, is the customer doesn't see any value in an hourly rate. I didn't go there to spend an hour of my time with him. I didn't get any pleasure out of that hour. In fact, it was flipping painful because he pulled and tugged my arm about. It was pain. I didn't enjoy it. I wasn't going there to spend an hour of my time. That wasn't the value. The reason I went to Mark for my the therapy was because I wanted my shoulder better. I wanted my shoulder better. So how could he have done things different? Well, the first thing he might have done is he might have said to brand new patients like me, he might have said, right, the first thing we do is we have a one hour diagnostic session. It's only 40 pounds. And what we do is we spend 30, 40 minutes together and I ask a few questions, I do a few tests and then what I'll do is I'll quickly write up a report with some recommendations, some suggestions and I can also talk about what happens next. So still the same hour but it's now £40. Now I can see value because he's describing what's happening. There's no value in a £30, there's no perceived value in £30 for an hour session but there is value in a diagnostic process where at the end of it he'll give me a report and recommendations. I would pay more for that. There's more value. Still takes him the same one hour, but he could easily command at least 25% higher price. Now, of course, what he could then do at the end of the session, he could say, okay, one of the things you could do is, if you want to get your shoulder better, Mark, what you could do is have a series of sessions. They're 10 one-hour sessions. We'll get them booked in over 10 weeks, and it's £300. Now, I might have said yes to that, it's the same, effectively it's the same hourly rate, but what's happening is I'm getting certainty and he's locking me into 10 sessions. But here's the interesting thing, this is the bit that people struggle with value pricing and hourly, 
is he could have then said, I have another option. I have another process. It's a fast track process. process. I, ha I can use this special machinery. And he has got machinery that does very, he straps me up with uh, electrodes and stuff. I've got this special machinery. There's a process I can take you through that actually get the same result, but in five weeks. We can have one at five one hour sessions, and that's 300 pounds. Now think of it as a customer. What would you choose? Would you choose, if you wanted your shoulder fixing, would you choose 10 one hour weekly sessions for 300 pounds, or five one hour weekly sessions for 300 pounds. I don't know about you, but I would go for the fast track one because my, the value to me as the customer is not the hours I spend, but the same result. If I can get the same result in half the time, I'd go with that. Now let's think about it from Mark's point of view because yes, he will get paid a certain amount per hour because, because in the first instance with 10 sessions at 30 pounds, he's effectively earning 30 pounds an hour. But if he can do something that gets a result faster, he's getting double. He's earning £60 an hour because he's getting a faster result for me. But I'm not bothered about the hourly rate. I'm bothered about the result. When you focus on the result and help the client to get the result faster, you can make a lot more money. Clients aren't buying your hours, they're buying a result. Now interestingly, I gave the example of two options. He might have said there's a 10-week process and a 5-week process. They're both 300. What if the five-week process is actually £400? I would probably still choose that because I would pay a premium price to have it done faster, which means, from his point of view, he could earn way more than double. And so when you're thinking about what you do for clients, forget hours. Customers are not interested in hours, they're interested in a result. How can you help your customer get a better result faster? and then you price accordingly. If you found this video valuable, if it's helped you, please click that like button, share the video, and also below this video, I've put some links to some other free resources, so go and grab those. Bye for now.